Hello guys and welcome to part two of the solar project. So as you can see, things have progressed quite a bit since the last part. Um, I have the uh, solar panel mounted and that credit goes to my dad, as you can see. Uh, came up with a uh, pretty neat mounting solution. I might grab some cable and run it behind here just to make sure uh, that the bottom of the panel doesn't fly out from under this. But besides that, that is looking good and there's actually uh, room for another 50 watt panel right here uh, some more stuff to get you guys up to date as you can see the uh, well I have begun routing the cable to the uh, solar setup inside the uh, charge controller inverter battery etc um, as you can see I've taken the cable from here I've run it under the mulch and I've actually taken a shovel and cut the roots uh, of the sod right here pulled that up and stuck the cable under there so uh, the cable is traveling along right here right here right here and we're going all, uh, that, that didn't come out right, but we're going all the way right here. And as you can see, uh, I grabbed a screwdriver, uh, cut out that crevice right there, got the dirt out of it and stuck the cable in there. Gonna put some dirt on top of it. Um, so it's uh, under something and protected. And then I'm gonna run the rest of this up here through the window and to the uh, solar setup inside. Wow, that was a big mouthful though. So uh, still quite a bit of work ahead of me. So just a little bit more information on what exactly I have planned for this. As I said earlier, there is room for another 50 watt panel right here. And when I get to building the larger system, I will put another 50 watt panel on top of this one. Now, uh, we also left room right here for another structure. Uh, that one will be housing a 100 watt panel. So in the end, when I get to building the final system, I would like that to have a solar output of around 200 watts. Um, in direct sunlight, this panel is actually not doing too bad right now uh, even with the uh, I think it's like 90 feet of cable now after we cut some of that off for uh, the primary system inside um, even through that length of cable I'm still getting 20 volts and uh, two points I believe 2.7 amps uh, from this thing short circuit current and uh, open circuit voltage so, so far everything is definitely looking good. I still have a lot of cable to route, so I'm gonna get back to that and I will get back to you guys when I have finished routing the cable into the room over here. All right, so change of plans. I am going under the house now. Uh, here we go. Oh, did you get stuck? Oh, yum. There's a wire. Where's the vent? Oh, right there. Oh, okay. So we, uh, we got the cable routed through that vent. And uh, I, I think I should just be able to go up there and grab it now. All right. All right, guys, I don't know about you, but this is the moment I have been waiting for. So I have the cable running out to the solar panel right here, those MC4 connectors on it. And we have our other MC4 connectors running to the uh, solar setup right here. Now, now when I plug this in, a charging indication light should come on. So let's go ahead and plug this thing in. All right, here we go. And, oh, that's disappointing. We got nothing. Woohoo, I found the problem. One of the MC4 connectors was not properly put together, so I took it apart, uh, put it back together again, and now uh, we are in business. So it's connected to the solar panel right now, and the charge indication light is on, so all is good now. Uh, looks like we are good to go as far as this is concerned, and I'm gonna go ahead and stick it under my desk uh, where I'm going to keep it for the next couple months. All right, so it's been about a week since that last clip. I want to wait things out to see if anything weird would happen, and thank goodness nothing did. So I'm gonna start from over here, and we're gonna work our way down to the panel. As you can see, when we pulled this wire through the uh, spigot hole right here, it twisted up all weird. So um, uh, I'm not too worried about that because this wire is going to be replaced anyway. This is just a really, really, really cheap uh, speaker, copper clad aluminum wire. Um, so eventually this is gonna be ripped out and replaced with some thicker gauge, uh, pure copper, marine grade wire uh, and you can see I did cover it up with dirt and that's working out just fine I'm gonna move down to the panel now I have improved upon the mounting solution 
Um, I've added some wire to the back just to hold it down a little bit firmer. Um, it wasn't too much. This cost me like $3 to do. I think I just went to Home Depot real quick and grabbed some mounting hardware. And I mean, that's really about it. And I apologize for the fact that this video has been really all over the place. The first part was a lot more organized than this part. And I've been making a lot of weird cuts during this part of the video because I'm editing it right now. I'm like, huh, yeah, that came out kind of strange, but there's nothing really I can do about it. So now I want to talk about a couple things before I end this video. First off, I think I'm going to go ahead and buy another 50 watt panel and mount it to that post before school starts. Um, because as of right now, sometimes the 50 watt panel outside is isn't completely charging the battery. Uh, you know, cloud cover really detracts from the overall power production of that solar panel. It's like next to nothing when it's cloudy out. Um, so I think adding another panel would really help uh, fully charge the battery every single day. And due to that, I'm not able to connect my uh, lamp back here to the solar setup uh, with a 20 watt LED light bulb in it because that in conjunction with the pipe top seed and the uh, lamp I have over here just draws too much power and it depletes the battery before the night is over. So uh, yeah, I think I'm definitely going to add another panel on there and that will probably be a really quick part three of this whole solar series. The addition of another panel should help top off that 20 amp hour battery every day and therefore allow me to hook up that other LED lamp to the solar system. Now second off, I didn't get too many questions regarding part one of this video. The main question I got was if I plan to run my servers directly off 12 volts, cut out the middleman, the middleman in this case being the power inverter, and yes I do plan to run my servers directly off 12 volts. I plan to migrate my web server over to this tiny little Atom machine, which consumes about 20 watts at idle. I bought this for eight bucks off eBay. I tested it out the other day. I made a video all about it and I really liked it. If you want to check out the video, I will post a link to it in the description and I plan to run this without an inverter. I'm still looking for suitable systems to run FreeNAS on. Uh, I was thinking about running it off one of these, but unfortunately they ran out of them on eBay. They all went out of stock. Um, so uh, yeah, still looking around for that and I will update you guys on that when the time comes. Uh, Third thing I want to talk about is the fact that I'm putting a ton of HD images up on my website. The link will be in the description once I finish setting up that page. So if you want to check out some awesome HD images of the uh, solar system, go ahead and uh, check it out in the description. That's going to be about it for this video. If you guys can't tell, I'm really tired right now. Uh, I actually did two videos today, which kind of sucked uh, because during the first video, a product melted down on my desk and that's the first time that's ever happened. Uh, I posted it. Uh, I talked about it a little bit on Facebook. So uh, if you want to check it out, go ahead and check out the Facebook page. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, you can go ahead and post a comment in the comment section. Don't forget to drop a like on this video. If you didn't like this video, please tell me why. Uh, of course, please don't forget to subscribe to the uh, subscribe to the YouTube channel. If you want to support me, you can use my Amazon or eBay affiliate links. You can also support me by checking out my Patreon. And of course, please don't forget to drop a like on the Facebook page. Look forward to a really quick uh, part three of the uh, solar system series coming up. That's going to be about it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next installment of AA Computers and Technology.